Got any cash? Well, yeah. Do you call this money? Are you stupid? Eh, whatever. I have some good stuff. Oh yeah, you do. You have some good stuff indeed. Let's get the auto gun. No, 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 no. Not that many iron suits. Can we get all three? Yeah, I think so. You can get three iron suits and two iron helmets. But if we sell a few things that we don't need anymore, we may be able to purchase another iron helmet. Save money. It'll do you good. That's my motto. I think in the DS version he says something along the lines of If I keep saving money, it'll eventually do me something good. So rather than having it as a motto of his, he just thinks that eventually something good will come out of it. If he just keeps saving money. You know, that is a good motto to have either way. Because, you know, if you have money, you can really avoid a lot of fucking problems in, in the future. So let's sell all of our old stuff. A good suggestion is to never sell the stuff that you... Well, gonna need later on. Like, for example, do not sell... Potions. That is a bad idea. Right. I should... Let me qu have a quick look. Load. Okay. Hold a gun. Mm-hmm. Let's see if we can get that helmet. We should be able to. We made our money back, actually. For the most part. We actually got a bit more than the last time. So let's put on the iron helmet on Marl and... Well, I'll sell the bronze helmet later. We'll find some food at Ares Dome, to the northeast. But only if you get past Lab 16. The beasts there don't react to weapons, like guns and swords. Hmm. Trus Dome? Never heard of it. This is Tran Dome. In the DS version, I know I keep bringing it up a lot, but I played it recently, so might as well bring up the differences between the two versions. After all, the DS version is considered to be the better one. So just so you know. Just a little factoid. In the DS version, he says, Trus, I've never heard of such a kingdom, or so... No. No, what he says, Trus, never heard of such a dome. This is Tran Dome, that's what he says. And this guy on the other hand, instead of saying, if you're looking for food, you lose. <laughs> he says, if you're looking for food, you won't find any here. Kingdom? What are you talking about? This is an Enertron. You get a full night's sleep in a few seconds, but it still leaves you hungry. It's your healing station, but it still leaves you hungry. So food shortage is definitely a problem in this world. Question is though, we can clearly see that this is advanced, so it has to be the future. Problem is, or rather, the question is, how far in the future are we? And what caused all of this? Well, the only way to find out is by crossing lab 16. And unfortunately for us, there are these annoying fucking rats who keep nicking your shit every time you walk past them. If they touch you, that is. So, whatever you do, make sure you do not get touched by the rats. They don't even look like rats half the time, but for some reason they're considered to be rats. I don't know. So here we have octopods and meat eaters. Meat eaters, as you can see, are plants, so it's probably a good idea to use fire. Octopods, on the other hand, well, they're just octopuses. 
which don't need water. If it hurts and they attack you, will sap some of your health to heal up. Not that they're a problem. But I will be spending some time around here to grind off screen to get some levels. Because I feel we're gonna end our recording session here soon. That's a chest. Got one berserker. That is an accessory which I think allows you to automatically attack or something like that. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, auto attack and hit and defense stats go up. I don't like auto attacking because that means you automatically target and that can lead to bad things. So unless you like playing with berserkers, I don't recommend it. Let's try Slash. Oh wait, Slash is no good. Okay, Cyclone. There are also these craters, which are basically the Hatakes, except the, without the mushroom on top. From what I understand, craters are... weak to everything, I think. I don't remember. I know that some variants of the crater are actually immune to electricity. So don't use that on them. Weaknesses are pretty easy to figure out. At the very least, if you have no idea, just try one of the weaker uh, skills on the enemy from that particular element that you want to test for <laughs> and see if he heals. If he heals, it means that he is strong against it, like he's immune and therefore should be attacked with something different. I want to get to a particular location before the end of this session. Not sure if I'll be able to. My throat started to get sore. <laughs> you know, I usually do sessions in lengths of two hours, but they're already past that point. What do you want? This is an RPG. Gotta have longer sessions. Nice, that was a critical. I do like the battle theme. Ah, oh, load sword. Awesome, another one. So you can buy a load sword early if you want to, but uh, that's just the thing. If you want to, it's not necessary because you can find it later on. And we just found a better bow for Marl. Wait, do we have something for Luca? No, okay. Good. <laughs> I like the sounds these monsters make when they encounter you. <laughs> <laughs> sounds so weird. It's also a very weird sound whenever the octopods attack you. Sounds like you're sucking on a pacifier or something. It's weird. Yeah, target this guy. We'll get two in one. Octopods are definitely not very weak to fire. You have seen earlier that meat eaters don't attack, they act as medics. So it's a good idea to get rid of them first. It's not the first time we'll meet a medic an enemy in this game. Oh, Chrono leveled up. Who do we have to level up next? Luca. Alright. She'll be leveling up very shortly. <laughs> I like this track. That's all I'm gonna say. What, what do you want me to fucking say, man? Come on. This game's music is great. I love it. Nice. Amazing damage. That's four in one corner fucking pocket. Uh, Marl just learned provoke, which uh, infuses, not infuses. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Let's just say causes uh, 
chaos status ailments. Ah, here we go. Here's an interesting enemy. He looks pretty spooky when he first comes out, but he's a wimp. Shadows. This is the enemy that uh, the people in Trandome were talking about when they said that he cannot harm them with uh, regular weaponry. Shadows cannot be hurt by regular attacks. You have to use a skill to hurt them. Other than that, they're pathetically weak. So, whenever you encounter them, it's mostly just uh, an annoyance more than anything. Any skill works against them. It has to be just a skill. It cannot be a regular attack because, well, it doesn't work. Unfortunately, Marl doesn't have any attacks which are, well, skill attacks. Like, she doesn't have any skills that hurt. She only has skills that heal. And, uh, induce. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> Infuse. That's only one letter away. If you look at the keyboard, that is. Not the alphabet. But yeah, it induces chaos. That's what I wanted to say. Oh, three in one? Can we do it? Oh, yeah. Nice. Like cutting butter. We're gonna need to ether ourselves up. Regular ethers only re restore 10 MP. But considering how you never have fuckloads of MP, that's a good amount. And now, attack of the mutant tomato! It just has a lot of HP, that's about it. I think about 150 or something. Whale on his ass and it'll go down. Bam. Oh, not yet. No bam yet. Now bam. No? Oh yeah, it also has life sap. Likes to heal up with your health. Bam. Bam. There you go. A bit delayed, but... As long as you get the result. And here you get another mutant tomato. You may want to consider using a uh, flame toss. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't seem to do much more damage. I don't think mutant tomatoes are particularly weak to any element. That's okay. Get out the way! Get out the way! Bam! Nice. Seriously, the music in these lab areas is just great, but... The music here in the overworld is just... depressing. Or in the domes. Like this dome. Aris Dome. We finally reached our destination. And this place is derelict. It's fucking broken as shit. Why do people live here? Do they have no other place to go? Who are you? I don't know. Who am I? <laughs> you there! Where are you from? We came from the laboratories to the west. What? Hey, we got all... We got people who crossed the ruins. Say what? Say what to me? You're joking? So there are people who can beat up those freaky mutants? Oh yeah, man. That is gonna bring us some food. I have a bad feeling about that. My husband went down to the food storage area below. I haven't seen him since. Hmm. There's an old factory site called Protodome to the east. Can't get near it because there's a bunch of lunatic robots in the area. Did you really come from the dome to the west? Yes. Oh, okay. Not that I really care. <laughs> what if we say no? 
a time portal? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, I, I guess we can get our own information using our comp That is a weird way of saying it. I think, well, according to the DS version anyway, I think what they wanted to say is, I guess you could find information on our supercomputer or something like that. Pardon me, I'm Doan. I'm the descendant of the director of this info center. In the basement there's a huge computer and a storage center for food. But they can't get through because of the robot guards. It's a pity. It really sucks. You're sitting right on top of a food cache and you can't even get through to it. You can reach the continent to the south through the sewer access, but stay off of Death Peak. What's Death Peak? There's an old man living in a dome near Death Peak. Talk about crackpots. Huh, Enertron. Let's heal up. But you're still hungry. The door with a crest? Not even dynamite will budge it. So they know about those doors. Have any money? You sure this is money? <laughs> what, what else do you think it is? I know about you, but I feel like buying a few things. It's really hard to find any shops that sell ethers though for some reason. I don't get why. Hmm. Well, we do say that they have problems with the food, and we kind of need some info about time gates. Maybe you could pay a visit to the computer. Are you going down below? No, of course. But no one's ever returned from there. Well, we gotta try, right? It's nice to see such spirited young people for a change. Careful now. And come back alive. Okay. Ah, some computers. This console controls the passageway. We need a password to get through. Well, I know what the password is, but... You can't skip your way like that. You have to learn the password in order to use the password. So even if you know it, still gotta learn it. Damn, look at all that shit in the background. It's all fucking broke. Looks like a statue. A memo is attached to it. Warning. Anyone within the vicinity of a stockroom will be attacked. Hmm. Must have been left by a fellow passerby. What happened to this place? Why is everything so fucked? wonder what's behind that door. Oh, there's an alarm. Oi! Suddenly boss fight. Executing program. Chrono, what's going on? Let's go. Let's go indeed. Let's go fighting the computer. The guardian and his bit drones. I don't know why they're called the bits, but... One thing you need to know about them is that they are the ones that do all of the damage around here, so well on them. Don't let them live longer than they need to because they'll keep firing at you. The Guardian does not do much of anything on its own. You need to worry about the bit. Destroy the bit and the Guardian won't do much, but if the bit are around, He'll use the bit to attack you with uh, various uh, strong attacks like Amplifier and some other one. I don't remember what it's called. It's a particularly damaging attack, that's all you need to know. But now that the bit are down, the Guardian is defenseless. It's time for you to utilize your strongest attacks, which happens to be not fire-based attacks. The Guardian does not care about your fire. You also have five turns or something of the sort 
before new bits are summoned. So, uh, my suggestion, since we don't have anything strong enough to actually knock his ass out, is to just keep attacking him. Next time I'll try one of the Cronus' skills. We'll see what that does. It's pretty obvious. Fire will not suffice, and Marl has nothing that could help. Okay, Cronus' skills work, but they're not much better than just regular attacks. Might as well save MP. After five turns, or something of the sort, I, I just call them turns. The Guardian revives the bit, and you have to resume your attacks on the bit before they strike you with their strong attacks. Don't let them live. Now, if there's only one bit, it only attacks with rockets and the amplifier attack. If there's two of them, it does like... I think it's called a, like a delta strike or something? Don't quite remember. Some kind of very strong attack, which you want to avoid at all costs. Luckily for you, if you've been at least a little bit grinding, this shouldn't be much of a problem. This is actually one of the easiest boss fights. Easier than Yakra. And there you go. You see breakdown? It's a breakdown. He's dead. Three hundred XP, one thousand money, but no tech points. The Guardian robot has been destroyed, and we now have access to the storage room, which doesn't look good. Something reeks. Maybe that guy over there. Everything's completely rotten. The refrigeration must have failed. Chrono, look! Passed away long ago, I suppose. He's holding something. What do you suppose this is? It looks like some kind of seed. A seed? Do you suppose it could grow in a place like this? Hmm, that's a good question. Don't leave the room yet. Check the guy again. The following is written on a soiled sheet of paper. The rat is more than just a statue. It knows the secret of his dome. Catch it. Hmm. Interesting. It's right there, actually. There. There it is. Shh. It might run away. Dash with the B button. Catch him with the A button. Come back here, you little bastard! Oh shit, I might not catch him this time around. I got stuck too long. Though it is still possible. No, I lost him this time around. Well, if you lose the rat, you have to just leave the area and come back again. And try again. There we go. Gotcha. Squeak! I give up. I'll tell you everything. Press and hold the L and R buttons and then press the A button to access the secret passage. Don't make any mistakes or you'll be sorry. 